Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove users from QuickBooks Desktop. In this example, I'm using QuickBooks Premier 2022, but the instructions will remain the same if you're using a different version of QuickBooks Desktop. I'm going to start by going to Company at the top of my screen, and then I'm going to come down to Set Up Users and Passwords. Over to the right, I'll select Set Up Users. I need to enter my password to verify that I'm the person who should have access to make these changes. So I'm entering my admin password. In this example, I'm going to delete user one. So I'm pick them and delete them. I'm going to delete account user, pick it and delete user. And then I want to add a user. I'm going to go to the upper right and select add user. So I'm going to call this person demo user. I'm going to select next. As we go through the screens, you'll have the ability to identify how much access this person should have to your QuickBooks. I'm not going to read them all to you because I believe you can pause and read them as needed. I want to show you what's out there just so you can have a sense of it, and then you can make a decision of what's most appropriate for your business. So I'm going to say selected area of QuickBooks. I'm going to select next, and then I'm just going to zip through the screens. So I can give this person some access to my sales and AR. I give them full access or zero access. Um, same thing with AP. Give them access to my checking or credit card register within QuickBooks. Give them access to time tracking. I can give them some access to payroll. I can give them access to sensitive accounts. I can give them access to reports. I can decide whether or not they want to have the ability to change or delete transactions. I then get a recap of what they can and cannot do. If there's anything on here that I wish to correct, I can click back, go back and correct it. When I'm satisfied, I can click finish. I don't need to click next a whole bunch of times. And that's it. Demo user is now added. If I want to edit their access, I click edit on the right. I can change their password. I can go through all the steps and change their access. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down below. If you'd like to see a step-by-step -step guide, we'll put a link to that in the description for this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a good day.